Hi all, this is Tim Olson of Evolution Software. In today's video tip, we're going to demonstrate how to rotate an arbitrary model in space onto a known coordinate system. In this case, we're going to rotate the spark plug over to our major XYZ axis. We're going to do this with three steps. We're going to first use the translate tool to translate a point of interest onto the origin. Second, we're going to rotate a known axis along to the X axis. And third, we're going to rotate a known axis to the Z axis. Right, so let's go ahead and go to the translate tool and position our part such that we can view a point of interest that we want moved to the origin. And let's go ahead and select our part. And we're going to pick the center of the cylindrical face coming off the spark plug. And we're going to have that moved to the origin. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to align the length of this spark plug along the x-axis. Let's go ahead and select the three-point rotation tool from the transformation tool palette. I'm going to tear it out and notice that there's a sub tool. Let's pick the rotate three points and I'm going to zoom up into our area and rotate it so I can get my reference points. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a construction line just so that you can better visualize this point that I'm going to reference. I'm making a, a line starting at the uh, origin along the x-axis. Now let's go ahead and we're going to select our part, select the rotate tool, pick the rotation point which is the origin. The reference point is the center of the cylinder at the next face over and then we're going to rotate it over to the line along the x-axis. And now let's go ahead and jump into another view and you can see our spark plug is now aligned along the x-axis. Now that we've aligned the x-axis, let's go ahead and align one more edge and this will be an edge that will align along the uh, z-axis. Let's switch some views. Again, we're going to orientate our part. And as before, I'll draw a construction line so you can visualize the rotation of the three points. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a line at a point of rotation along the z-axis. Now let's go ahead and deselect that line, select the part that we want to rotate, go to the rotation three point tools. For our center of rotation, we'll select uh, this location and we will rotate from this point to that point the aim for the angle. And so now you can see our edges are aligned with our vertical z-axis. Thank you very much for watching this uh, video tip.